while filming this video there's a good chance that I will either run out of time and have to pick up kids, puppies will wake up making a ton of noise, or I'll throw up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey guys, long time no see and hi, I have realized that I have a ton of new subscribers so hi, welcome to my channel. I am obviously Tara Creel and I'm happy that you are here with me. But have you realized it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video? It has been a month probably over a month since I have uploaded a video, which is insane. Okay, goodness, so where to start? There has been so much that has happened in our life, and it really has been a lot, a lot at one time, I guess you could say. Um, I should start by saying that the main reason I've been kind of MIA, even on all the different social media accounts, I've been kind of, kind of quiet when I'm generally very chatty, is because my computer broke and obviously not having a computer I can't film I can't upload I can't edit I can't do anything my computer crashed and from there I went back and forth to the Apple store now mind you I live in a tiny town and the nearest Apple store no matter which way you go is two hours so two hours there two hours back I went twice before they finally decided to ship off my computer and get it fixed. So, second thing, I promised myself at the beginning of the new year that this was gonna be the year of growth for me, of huge exponential growth. And not necessarily in like business or my career or whatever, I kinda just, I mean, yeah, growth everywhere, but most especially spiritually and oh I dropped a book um, and that doesn't mean religiously I just I feel like I just turned 26 my birthday was on March 2nd I feel like as a 26 year old I'm pretty like in tune with what's important in life what I want know exactly where I want my life to go and how I want to get there not in the terms that I'm making plans and life is going to go exactly the way I planned uh, but just that I know what I want at the end of the day and I just wanted to dig deeper into that. I wanted to take more time to kind of self-reflect and to get better at the things that I am not great at and to get rid of limited beliefs, things that I tell myself that aren't true and to speak kinder to myself, to be more loving of myself, to be more loving of others. Um, and so I just, I really went on this journey of spiritual growth and I'm still going on it every single day. So a lot of my time has been spent journaling and journaling with, I guess you call it guided journaling, um, I'm not just sitting down and writing whatever comes to my mind. I'm kind of reading things and then writing how I feel about them or answering tough questions, things about my past, things that I do on the daily that I know I should quit but I keep doing them because it's a comfort zone. And to go with that, I got this book called May Cause Miracles by Gabrielle Bernstein. I know a lot of you guys read her stuff because you have commented and mentioned it on Snapchat. Um, but this is basically, it's 40 days of reflections, kind of. Reflections and affirmations. So every day I read this and it talks about a certain topic and then I go to my journal and I write down how I felt about that chapter. This is a book, screenshot it if you want to. Now, on the same kind of path as the spiritual growth and just growing as a person, period, I had the incredible opportunity, incredible. I've known since December-ish, I think the ticket was bought and we went in March, March 16th, I think. Um, I had the incredible, incredible, incredible opportunity to go to Anthony Robbins Unleash the Power Within seminar. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this by itself because it was just, you know, you hear that it's life changing and I kind of went in a bit anxious because like I said, I kind of already know a lot about myself. I'm very self, like I self check myself all the time. So I know where my weaknesses are. I know things that I need to work on and I'm aware of that and I take action on that every day. So I wasn't sure what I would gain at this seminar. But if you haven't heard of Anthony Robbins, first of all, 
do yourself a favor. I give you permission to pause this video and go look for one interview from him. Um, specifically the Oprah one. That is a great interview for Tony Robbins. I have been a huge fan for years. Enough about that. I don't want to go too far into it because like I said, I'm going to do its own separate video. But it is intense. It is four days or three and a half, four days of basically just... It's not motivational and it's not rah-rah cheerleader. It's like a big concert. You are dancing for four days. You are dancing, standing up on chairs, being crazy. Um, and in between songs, you're basically breaking down limited beliefs. You are figuring out what's truly important to you in life, what has held you back. I took so much from the seminar. I can't wait to share that with you. Um, leave a comment down below if you are interested in hearing about that. Next thing, and this is huge, and I'm just going to say before I even get into it, if there are any negative comments or people that want to be nasty about it, you will be removed. Your comment will be deleted because it's not an ideal situation, but it's something that happened and something that we took accountability, we took responsibility for, um, and we are taking care of it to the absolute best of our ability. Five weeks ago, we were blessed with a litter of puppies. So we have nine Catahoula mix puppies in our home. And stop and think about that for a second. Nine puppies, nine. It is a lot. So any time that I haven't spent doing whatever else I need to get done in life, my everyday responsibilities, I have been taking care of these puppies. It has been a full time job. Sure, some people might have puppies and say, oh, it was easy, we did this, we did that. But because this is not a situation that was planned and something that I'm particularly proud of, um, I took, like I said, full accountability and I wanted to take care of these puppies in the absolute best way, pro best way possible and do it properly. So they have been through training. They are five weeks old on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. I don't know when this video will go up, but five weeks old on Thursday and they are already potty trained. I use the Misty method of training that breeders use. So they are potty trained in their Misty method pen and probably starting within the next week or so, I will start potty training them outside. So they will be ready to go home to their new owners. They they won't be peeing everywhere in the house unless the owner is not taking care of them. Um, within the next two weeks, I will be working on leash training. Um, they are going to be learning basic commands within the next few weeks. A lot of people send dogs off at eight to nine weeks, but we have decided that they will not be sent to new homes until they are 12 weeks old just because there are a lot of developmental milestones that happen at 12 weeks and beyond, and I want to make sure that the puppy. Okay, so my car ran out of space again, like always. I have to get a new car, but I think what I was saying was that I just want to, in my home right now, give these dogs the best possible chance at being in a good home and being prepared for a home. That way, you know, the new owners don't struggle with training and they don't have reasons to put the dog in the shelter. Um, and I've also told people that are taking the dogs that if for any reason they can't take care of the dogs, I would like them to return it to me as opposed to putting it in a shelter because everything I'm doing is to avoid that scenario. These dogs, they need a home. And the great thing is that when they were born, we pretty much already lined up homes for most of them. I'd say at least six out of nine. Um, and one of them we're keeping. So it's definitely been an experience. I have learned a lot about puppies that I didn't know. I've dedicated a lot of time to them, just giving them love and attention and training them and setting up their pen and what a lot of people don't understand is you constantly have to be cleaning their pen because that's how they learn to potty train in the potty section because if even one of them pees in the play section um, then the other ones will smell that and think that that is a potty area too. So every time one of them pees or poops in the wrong section I would have to take the sheets up, throw them in the washer and dryer. Um, so I mean that's another thing. It's been heavy on my wallet because I've taken them to the vet, I've taken the mom to the vet, I will be taking them for their eight week appointment to get a fecal check and to get um, 
just their basic checkup and they will be getting their shots before they go to a new home. So it has been all consuming, but I love it. I'm having so much fun with it. But you know, somebody asked me yesterday, like you not only have your kids and your husband, but now you're dealing with nine puppies and your two dogs. Like how are you, what are you doing to have your own guilty pleasure? And the truth is I, I don't really have any guilty pleasures, but I do make sure that every day I do my journaling, like I mentioned earlier in the video, and I go to the gym. Some days I don't get to the gym just because, you know, there's so much going on, but for the most part, I'm always in the gym. That, I mean, it's been nice. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm excited because they are such sweet babies, and they are so smart and so silly, and I can't wait for people to be able to bring them home and have a new best friend. So that happened in our life, and that has been something that has kept me busy. Also, I didn't mention the beginning of this video probably makes no sense, but I'm sick today. I don't know what happened. Yesterday before I went to bed, I felt really nauseous and just you um, but I thought it was just what I ate for dinner because I haven't been eating the best some days because I've been craving salt um, so I went to bed and then I kept waking up trying to I don't really have to say it I don't think um, and by 4 in the morning I did kind of release myself and right now as I sit here in front of you on camera I'm feeling very nauseous and very sick I haven't eaten today I haven't even drank anything today and it's it's like 11 o'clock, I think, almost 12, so I need to go get something in my stomach. Um, but other than that, I mean, just different, you know, regular things, volunteering at the school. I'm keeping with my regular life while doing all this new stuff and, and just keeping busy. And then the last thing I want to discuss, I don't want to go too far into it because, you know, I know there's like annoying posts online where it's like, oh, I'm doing this big project, but I can't share it, or I'm doing this, but I, you know, I can't say anything, and those are so annoying, but I feel like I have to share something with you because if you follow me on Snapchat or Facebook, it maybe makes a lot of sense why I've been the way I've been, but we have a really, really, really huge, I'm talking huge, um, change coming up in our life, and I can't share details just for the safety and well-being of my family um, and I don't really know what else to say about that um, but it has been very emotionally draining it's been something that has brought a lot of tears and not necessarily bad tears it's it's a good thing but it's a hard thing and so there's been a lot of just going back and forth trying to figure out what is best for our family how it's going to affect the children how it's going to affect me and my husband and my just everything our whole family everything around us will be affected so i just want you guys to know that you know i'm going through that and it's something that i'm working through every day and i'm in a positive state of mind about it i'm not unhappy about it it's just something that's hard and it's a it's an adjustment and so if you ever see me kind of feeling a little bit down or nostalgic that's probably why that has a lot to do with it oh and one more thing I guess I sh this is worth mentioning too I haven't had a whole lot of luck so far but I have been doing a ton of work trying to grow this YouTube channel I guess you could say but not really grow so the thing is I have a ton of video concepts in my mind like things that I am really pumped about and that I've taken notes for months and planned out shots and videos and um, but they're really really like high quality high production videos and I had this mindset that oh you know people on YouTube when you get so many followers or you make so much money or you know you get to work with so many companies then you can start producing amazing content and after going to the Tony Robbins thing, I realized like that is so ridiculous to think that way. YouTube now is a business. It is a way to reach millions of people and make an impact. And so I have been making it a point to try and team up with somebody to shoot videos because these videos that I want to do, I do not have the time, the money, or the resources to do them myself. I have definitely been working on some huge projects, huge things to make this channel a fun space that is extremely motivational and gives you quality content. Hopefully that will happen soon. If you happen to know of anybody um, that is a film student and would like to maybe work on future projects, 
send them to this video and send them to like this point in the video so that we can talk and possibly collaborate for future projects. So that is everything that's been happening in my life. Like I said, I know it doesn't really seem like a whole lot, but when you put them all together and just think of the exhaustion and the emotion that has gone behind so many of these things, I mean even just the Tony event alone, it really pulls at your emotions. You are digging deep and, and looking at the deepest parts of yourself, the things that you don't like, the things that you love, the things that you want to change, things that are important to you. It is draining. So it has been a lot, but I've been really happy. And I know that comes from just doing the soul searching and um, really reflecting and growing spiritually. So I just wanted to share that with you guys so you know where I've been. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.